Jax here with another tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to make, make uh, lightning in uh, UDK. It's going to be pretty pretty awesome. It's a pretty cool effect. I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like right now. Maybe. Alright, so here's what it looks like. So what this is, is it's a particle effect, and it's a dynamic uh, lightning, so it's never going to strike in the same place twice. And I kind of cranked up the amount of lightning that's occurring in order, and so everyone can uh, see what's going on, but pretty, pretty awesome effect, so let's go ahead and get started. First, I got my tutorials package here. I'm gonna create a new material, a new particle system. I call this lightning underscore O2 underscore PS. Grouping particle underscore effects. Boom. And now got this here. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that for a moment and what we're gonna do is we're gonna look or actually let's go ahead and open this up. Now let's get that down and let's go to all assets and let's look up lightning. Ultimately, you guys can create your own materials for lightning, but in this case, uh, actually not lightning, it's rain. And this is actually a really good way to learn how to make lightning, is uh, right here, lightning strike bolt. That's what we're going to be using. And let's go ahead and open, up, open it up just to see what it's made of. over a bit if I can okay so it's a blend additive unlit and it's really very complex as you can see here but um, you guys can look through this and maybe you guys can learn something from it and make your own lightning make it a lot better make it more unique but in this case I'm just going to use this now, let's go ahead and open up our emitter. Your required emitter. Go to that. As long as we have that bolt still selected, let's just go ahead and pop that in there. Then close that down. We don't need that anymore. Now, as you can tell, it looks very weird. What we're going to need to do is we're, we are going to need to change the uh, spawn to about 5. That's kind of what I was using, but it'll actually be less for you guys if you want to create something more realistic. And then for lifetime, we're looking at uh, 0.1 and 0.3. So, still not quite exactly what what we're looking for. So, go to initial size. That, that's probably the next big thing that we're gonna need to change. And uh, let's crank this up quite a bit. One thousand by one thousand. Or, well. Not quite correct, sorry. This is actually 10,000. An extra one there. Let's just tab down to here. Uh, this is actually 10,000. Um, well, 
let's change it a bit. Let's change the minimum for X. Let's go with uh, 9,000. probably be good. It's a lot bigger now. It's only striking in one place, so that's a problem. Let's go um, let's uh, first go to initial velocity and make oh yeah, that's kind of screwed up. What we gotta do is we gotta change uh, this to 0, 0, and negative 1. And then zero zero negative point five. This will give it a little bit of movement, some very slight variations in, um, in location. Uh, so I'll just it adds a little bit. It adds. Then we're gonna need to change. Um, Actually, what we need to do is we need to add initial location. Initial location. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bump this up quite a bit. So this is going to be 10,000 by 10,000. That could be left alone. We don't want to change that. Negative nine thousand by negative nine thousand. That'll give us something a little bit more of what we're looking for. So you can see here it's kind of spreading out. You can kind of start seeing the effect come into play. And that that's actually pretty much it. The one thing that we need to change, and this is what I I discovered that could actually really be apply, applied to another tutorial I did which is uh, rain is um, the, we can lock the axis orientation what we're going to do is we are going to lock the uh, rotate z axis what that'll do is it will uh, keep it facing straight up and down but it will rotate along the uh, Y axis. That makes sense. So, and after that, you can just put in the particle effect. Um, since it's facing down, you will have to move it quite a ways up. And with that, I think I'll just show the effect one more time. And this is what we got. We got going on. Pretty cool effect. It can be used for storms. Uh, you can make it bigger. You can place it in specific areas. Um, you can reduce the amount of bolts that come down, so it's more specific and targeted. Um, you, you would probably have to. Well, I don't know if you'd have to do it through code, but you uh, you may have to do it through code to add sound. Um, Let's see. I don't see anything for sound. Yeah, um, you'll probably have to do that with Kismet, or maybe actual code to incorporate sound. But the great thing about this effect is that it is random, and it's different every time that it happens. At least the location is different. The rotation you could probably add a random rotation or a, uh, a rotation over the life or a initial rotation which will change the rotation of the bolt every time it strikes that that will add some extra realism to it but other than that I, I believe this effect is pretty much done and as is this tutorial so thanks everybody for watching Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.